If you don't want me, I'm going to find somebody who does. That's what Todd Gurley might have told the Detroit Lions when he set up his visit with the Baltimore Ravens. But before we get into this, <laughs> team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Todd Gurley pulled up to the crib and he left the crib with no deal. So, Todd Gurley came to visit the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens, my apologies, man. Y'all know we down. Anyway, he came to visit the Ravens, and there has been no deal. No deal was agreed to, no deal was agreed upon, and no deal has been, no pen to paper. You feel me? You know what I'm saying. So, Todd Gurley remains a free agent. Now, I, I looked at the comment section of the video, and I see there was a lot of, um, differing opinions going on down there which is great that's what we appreciate every when everybody's not on the same page that's perfectly fine why because one of the main reasons i appreciate team keep it clean so much is because we don't all think the same thoughts we don't all have the same vision for the team we don't always agree on the same thing but where we disagree we share our opinions respectfully it doesn't have to get nasty doesn't have to get disrespectful doesn't have to get rude, none of that. We share our opinions respectfully. And that's exactly what it's about. Um, some people made some really good points. They said that with Todd Gurley, they do not and will not have it. They just don't want it to where it's a situation like it was with the Ravens last year, early on in the season. What situation am I talking about? Well, there was a situation with Mark Ingram. He got carries. With Gus Edwards, he got carries. With J.K. Dobbins, he got carries. With Lamar Jackson, he got carries. And they were spreading the wealth amongst everybody, but nobody was getting rich. Let's run that back one more time. They were spreading the wealth amongst everybody, but nobody was getting rich. Ravens were still winning games, but that running game, it was suffering. Because you will see J.K. break a long one and to be like, let's go. J.K. is about to take this game over. And then they put Mark Ingram in. You will see Gus keep breaking and he's trucking all these defensive players. Let's go, Gus the bus. All aboard the bus. And then they throw in Mark Ingram. It's like, hold up. What, what's going on? Ravens would not go with the hot hand because they were too busy trying to feed everybody. And a lot of people in the comment section, were, it, it took them back. The whole Todd Gurley visit took them back to that. And they don't want that no more. And I don't want it no more either. But then there were some other people in the comment section who also brought up some valid, legitimate, great points. Like y'all always do. One of those points. We now have a 17-game schedule. 17 games in the regular season. And you know the Ravens, they run the ball like nobody's business, man. Ravens have continued and will continue to break so many records when it comes to the running game. And even though we do expect them to pass a lot more than they have in the past, get it? Pass a lot more than they have in the past. Like that. But anyway, even though we expect them to pass a lot more than they have in the past, they will still run the football and we know they're going to run the football and you know they're not going to just be like oh you know what? we got all the receivers now so let's just throw a bunch of they're still gonna have the games where they throw but they're going to run the football so you have a gus edwards you have a jk dobbins you also have the wear and tear of a football season of a 16 game season but now you added another game on top of the 16 games this may make you think, because you also have Justice Hill, but Justice Hill does a lot on special teams. And like I said in the video earlier today, I, I do not believe whatever, if anything were to happen with Todd Gurley, I, like I said, I didn't expect him to be signed, but if anything were to happen with a Todd Gurley, then I, I do not think it would impact Justice Hill whatsoever. I think Justice Hill is safe. Safe. Now, um, a lot of y'all talked about how with Todd Gurley, hey, he, he'd be a nice back to have, be a nice backup plan. Yeah, he certainly would. Like, can you imagine that? Like, oh, Gus Edwards is, Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins are your 1A, 1B. And then your two, <laughs> oh, it's just Todd Gurley. He used to be one of the best running backs in the league. And he wouldn't be coming here to be, oh, yeah, I'm the starter. I'm the main guy in town now. No. He wouldn't be coming here to do that. 
He'd be a backup, and he would know he would be a backup, and there would be nothing unless there were injuries. But besides that, there would be nothing in his mind that would tell him, I'm going to the Ravens to go start. No. He knows he would be a backup. He has a much better shot at getting significant playing time if he were to go to Detroit. And he could, if, with Detroit, he could go reunite with his boy, Golf. And they could go ride out over there with the Lions. Will that happen? We'll see. Now, something that some other people brought up. Because they know the business. Like, y'all know the business. That's one thing I love about y'all. Y'all know the business. And some people think, oh, maybe Todd Gurley is doing something that a lot of players do. And sometimes even, um, even teams will do to players. But in this case, in this case, it could be Todd Gurley trying to drive up his price with the Detroit Lions. Why would he do that? Now, again, this could be Ravens, too. He could have turned down a visit now. He knows Ravens running back situation. But so I'm sure Ravens were the ones that offered Todd Gurley to come out, say, hey, unless the agent worked it out, they say, hey, my guy Todd Gurley, he's in good shape. Y'all want to take a look at him? Ravens could have been like, okay, cool. So I don't know whether it was Ravens that offered or Todd Gurley's agent that offered, whatever it might be. But if it was Todd Gurley's agent, it could have been their way to try to get the Lions to, hey, offer more money or really give them a legitimate deal, a legitimate offer, and make this thing happen. Because in this business, teams, they use players to get, it's like, and we've seen it before plenty of times. Raven, like with the Ravens, they use other guys. They try to, they, they use other guys to sign their current guys. They'll do it. Tyus Bowser, for instance. There was a report around the beginning of free agency. There was a report that the Ravens were interested in Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick. What is he? Outside linebacker, pass rusher. But then guess what happened a couple days after that report came out? The Ravens re-signed Tyus Bowser. They re-signed him. There was another report that the Ravens... There was one that they were interested in, Jadavian Clowney. Y'all know how that went. Y'all know I love them, them Clowney reports, man. Because um, I, I wanted the Ravens to get him for the past two years. But anyway. Um, and there was somebody else, too. There was a defensive end who the Ravens were interested in. I forgot who it was. But anyway, or interested in. A couple days later, they re-signed Derek Wolf. And then the one that I'll never forget is a couple years ago when the Ravens, uh, Nick Boyle was a free agent. And the Ravens were interested in Dwayne Allen. And Dwayne Allen is also a blocking tight end. They were interested in it. They brought him in for a visit. A couple days later, Nick Boyle resigns. So these things happen. They happen every year. They happen with every team. We remember even with Sammy Watkins this year. He visited with the Ravens. Then next up, he visited with the Colts. But we knew that the Colts, they really wanted T.Y. Hilton to resign. They wanted him to resign all along. What happened? They gave him an offer. He's like, mm, I'll sit on it. He talked to the Ravens. Ravens gave him an offer. He was like, mm, <laughs> I'm straight. But before he re-signed with the Colts, they brought in Sammy Watkins. When they brought in Sammy Watkins, we talked about it, and we said we knew that they had no intention on signing Sammy Watkins. And we saw it as a pressure move for T.Y. to re-sign with them. What happened? A couple days later, T.Y. re-signs with the Colts. Even though he said he was close to signing with the Ravens, but... He re-signed with the Colts. So these things happen all the time in this business of the NFL. So with Todd Gurley, where he's going to end up, no clue. Will it be with the, the Ravens? I just, I don't think so whatsoever. I mean, we've seen crazy things happen, but I just, I don't see it happening. Now, one other point that some of y'all mentioned, maybe he could have that Mark Ingram effect. And the Mark Ingram effect is just really... I think the biggest thing it is is just being a great teammate. Maybe that's what some of y'all are talking about. Or some of y'all may, may have been talking about when Mark Ingram first came on the scene as a Raven. And he made that, boom, immediate impact. But the reason I don't think it's that is because Todd Gurley would not be the starter. Mark Ingram was the starter. Todd Gurley would not be the starter. So I think maybe y'all are talking about as a veteran presence back there. A veteran who got experience. Experience. Playing in every single type of game that there is. He's played in every single type of game. He's lost every single type of game. He's won every single type of game except 
the Super Bowl. Would he be willing to be a backup's backup as a Baltimore Raven? Time will tell. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like Todd Gurley is when it comes to his visit with the Ravens, I'm out.